Welcome to Soccer Gaming and welcome to this week's episode of the Kansas City Royals Dynasty Rebuild. In this episode, we are ready to start preseason. We got our roster, we got who we want. Now we're going to go out and see how well they play, see who can make that opening day roster. Not everything is finalized, however, in this episode, we will play some games. We'll see who's who's going hot, who's not, and possibly make some roster decisions. So if you'd like to watch that, stick around. So it is February 28th, 2022, season two of this rebuild. And we're excited to see how our players are going to play in this preseason, see how they're doing in spring training, possibly make some roster decisions based on how the preseason and spring training goes. So let's get it started. We're basically going to just play games, a few games here and there, uh, definitely play with the guys we want to see, and uh, we will see how well they're playing. So the first one is going to be Carlos Hernandez, uh, our, our guy that we think is going to be our number three, possibly our number four, but we want to make sure he is good to go. So we're going to start this game with him. And then we're just going to start with what I think the opening day roster might look like. There might be a few changes, but Eric Mahe, you see in there at DH, I want to try to start with what we think will actually happen. We are three and zero. we've already played a little bit. I just simmed those games. And so we're jumping into the games that I want to play with the players I want to play with. So that's what we're going to do here. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today, spring training action from the Cactus League between the Chicago White Sox and the Kansas City Royals. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Carlos Hernandez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So Carlos Hernandez last year at AAA pitched very, very well for us and kind of deserved this opportunity. He's going to start his debut with a strikeout, four seam high and inside. You know that those Rolls pitchers love those types of pitches. And this one's going to go with the high on Elroy Jimenez. Going to foul it off. 2-2 two -two count. Going to go down low here with a 12-6 curve. And that thing drops out of the sky. And another reason why Carlos Hernandez is a guy that we really, really want to look at and want to be part of our rotation. Normally, these types of guys don't seem to produce from every single year once they go up to the MLB, so we're interested to see if he can produce at a pretty good frequency up there in the majors. He's doing pretty good here as he strikes out back-to-back -back batters, and honestly, we're interested to see how everyone does. Here's Nick Prado up 0-1. A guy that we're looking at at first base, probably going to be our starting first baseman. And he's helping his case there with a home run there. It's going to be his second of spring training. X velocity about 99. So he didn't hit that one super hard, but he's strong enough to be able to hit it 98 and get it up and out over the wall. Here's Kyle Isbell. You know, he had a pretty good season last year with his first season. This one's he's going to send out to left field. So he's got himself a home run there as well and he's actually got third of the spring training so in four games he's already has three home runs so Kyle Isbell looking like he could possibly be a guy that gives us some good RBI numbers Nick Prado up again this time right down the middle he's gonna square this one up and it's gonna get up and out of here so two home runs in one game for Nick Prado and definitely kind of solidifying himself at that first base role we don't we want good defense at first base but the main thing of first baseman is just a guy that can hit home runs and score some runs so definitely doing his job there and another person doing their job is holding caps trying to look for that closer role closing roles something we are looking for and kind of in between two two people and so we're going to try to look at them and see how they're doing. This time it's not Holden Cap's uh, fault that this one gets through. Uh, right field trying to die for. Probably shouldn't have. Probably should have just stopped it. And so it's interesting to see another guy, J.J. Blade. I felt like he was primed and ready for this year. And he hits this one out. And it'll be, again, exciting to see what he could do. Probably going to make the roster. Um, I don't know yet if he's going to be a starter, but definitely helping his case there with a lefty, lefty home run. So good to see that because I feel like sometimes 
some of the lefties that we got on the team, like Rafael Devers, seem to struggle against other lefty hitters. So we are done with that game. We're on to the next game. This game is going to be a lot of the younger guys that we just want to see, uh, like Michael Harris, uh, Matias, Cassis, Jordan, Melendez, Veen. Uh, all these guys could make the team, but need to kind of prove that. And we'll see if they can prove that today. And if they can't, it maybe we send them down to AAA and get them some more playing time. But these are definitely guys that have deserved the right to possibly make the major league team coming out of spring training. You see Matias there, a, a strong leader at right field. Him and JJ Blade, I think, are going to fight for that right field position. So it'll be interesting to see that. Melendez catcher we're, we're still trying to figure out obviously Sabi's our starting catcher but you know will Melendez be your number two or will he stay down in AAA for a little bit uh have another good season there and then come up and be the starter or something like that it'll be interesting to see but there's some really good names on this like Cassis we're interested to see how he does uh first base there's three or four first basemen that we really like up on this ball club and so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Blaze Jordan had an amazing season last year. The dude killed it. And I, I think he's starting to become a top prospect. Uh, we traded for him, I think, middle through the season. And ever since we traded for him down in double A, he killed it. We sent him up to triple A. And I believe he ended up hitting like 325 or something in triple A. So he's just been absolutely um, blazing the ball, so to speak. And he's a third baseman. Third baseman, we have Raphael Devers. But again, Blaze Jordan, you can move around. You can use him as DH, which is a good reason why we're in the AL. You get to use him at DH. You can use him anywhere. Uh, Zach Veen, a guy we traded for, waiting to see what he can produce for us as well. Here's Matthias in the first inning, and he's going to hit this one out of here. So Matthias showing his power numbers. He's hit a lot of home runs in AAA and Double A, so it's good to see him kind of move that to the major league level. We are pitching against, or we are playing against major league pitching so it's not like we're playing against some uh triple a or double a guys grayson rodriguez getting his start today we're interested to see what he can do and uh he's one of the guys that's in for that fifth uh fifth spot in the rotation it's going to probably be between him and some other players so we're interested to see what he can do he starts it off with an 0-2 count with a strike to mike moustakis Pitch is going to hang a little bit. Mike is going to take that one. And it looks like the left fielder misplayed it. We'll have to see who's in left field. I think it's Veen. Not a very good job by him tracking down the ball. So a double there to Mike Moustakis. And again, we'll, it'll be interesting to see how we do this and how we play. Um, Rodriguez helping himself out here by trying to get a hit. And it's funny to see a pitcher hit that that far so another thing about al is we have the dh so we don't have to really worry about our pitcher setting but it, ha having a guy that can hit will be really helpful when it comes to playing nl teams so another guy that can hit a michael harris you're gonna see him single this one up the middle an easy hit by him and just because you get a single doesn't mean you can't get on second base oh two count to matthias and michael harris gonna steal second base again a lot of these rules guys have a lot of speed it's what we kind of base everything around and we try to get those stolen bases turn singles in the doubles turn singles in the stolen bases and Grayson Rodriguez coming out the third inning kind of struggling today to find his thing and just an absolute mental error here um, <clears throat> MLB fix your game and uh, he gets a single the count as a base hit obviously shouldn't have even happen and then on the bunt here it looks like he squared up pulled back and hit him on the inside of the play so it looks like a walk here after actually watching the replay it doesn't really hit him uh so it's it's annoying but it is what it is and a guy on first and second and they're going to make a pay with a grounder to the shortstop shortstop not able to get it throw home is actually a good one but on the wrong side of the plate so a safe there could have got him out but veen kind of sh showing he's got the arm but the accuracy is not there yet the accuracy is at first base with Cassis as he pulls off the double play there and helps uh, Rodriguez get out of the inning. Rodriguez in the fourth inning here, trying to keep things going. Mike Moustakis ha hit a single off him earlier. This time he's going to float one, curveball. Mike Moustakis kind of bats it off. Here comes the four-seam fastball, and there goes a home run. Mike Moustakis, a veteran hitter. He's played on the rules. Now on the Cincinnati Reds, a veteran hitter, uh, kind of showing Grayson Rodriguez 
the ropes as he gives up a home run there. And then Grayson Rodriguez still giving up some well-hit balls. This one's going to be to the wall. Hits off the track and off the wall. And Cincinnati looking pretty good against Grayson Rodriguez. But again, this isn't his only game. But right now we're going to take him out for Asa Lacy, the next guy up that we think could be in that fifth uh, starting rotation spot. There's between uh, Grayson Rodriguez and Asa Lacy. We want one of them to be able to step up and be that number five guy for us this year. So Asa gets started. Asa is a, le a lefty. Had a pretty good season last year. Struggled early on. Came on er er deep into the season when he really started playing well. 2-0 uh, count here. Two balls so far. And three balls. So not off to a good start. Already a three balls there. Can he get one over the plate? He can. The strike there on the slider down and in. Next pitch at three and one count. Just having a uh, having a good season the rest of the season after it was i believe the middle of the season he had over a five year a kind of got it down to like a 380 so definitely definitely kicked it on the end of the season figured something out and he started pitching well you see that curve there really really good run around second and third it's gonna get the strike out there and that's one thing that he's been working on is the consistency is being able to kind of throw the ball where he wants to throw the ball and not just throw the ball over the plate Cassis again, another another first baseman. We're looking uh, to see if he can have a big uh, impact on this team. He's going to have a big impact on this ball. Going to send this one out the left field and over the wall, and it's going to give Kansas City the lead. But it doesn't matter. It's postseason or it's preseason. But uh, Cassis' first home run of the spring training. Hopefully, he can get more of those to come. Kind of a guy that might uh, make the starting roster. So game three. We're going to bring out Asa Lacy again, let him start off a game, see how he does. As you can see, a 5.89 ERA in spring training. A lot of those have only you know, been out of the pen and stuff, so not really basing it on that. He had himself a good day here with that strike out there. And a guy that I think is going to be, after at least spring training, he's going to be our fifth starter to at least start the season again. I'm not saying that he's going to be here all season. I'm just saying that he's going to get the chance to start off first. O'Hearn trying to make his spot on the Major League roster as well. He's been hitting a lot of home runs in spring training. That's his second so far. And yeah, clobbered it. A guy that's kind of struggled just staying on the roster because of the average, but a guy that could possibly make the opening day roster and be that second first baseman on the Royals. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss the rest of this really build we are ready for season two the next episode you're gonna see us start season two so make sure you hit the red subscribe button so you can watch that till next time slacker out